Hello class and welcome to our 11th lecture series on financial accounting or principles of accounting and I'm your instructor Jamal Haider. So our today's agenda is that we will be covering the treatment of inventory. In our previous lectures we already talked about the treatment of how we are going to treat cash and then we talk about the account receivable and now we talk about the inventory. So we are now you know, heading towards in, a, in an order, in chronological order. So inventory is also the liquid asset, also the current asset as well. So today's you know, lecture is very important because in this lecture, we'll talk about the miracles of inventory because you can play with inventory and you can show your huge balance sheet or lower balance sheet or huge profit and lower profit because it has some kind of subjective you know figures you can allot to the inventory and you can increase your profit by doing that we'll learn that that how we can manipulate or we can you know influence inventory calculation so we will learn about different methods to calculate inventory and the treatment of inventory as well so our first learning, obje uh, learning objective is that show how to account for inventory. Let's talk about that. So let me tell you, I really encourage you guys to participate in questions and you can ask questions as many as you can. Okay. So if you don't understand that, you can just stop with your sir. Wait a minute. I don't understand this one. Please repeat. Even if it's a silly question, a question is a question. And I do respect that question is a question. I don't categorize question into stupid question, silly question, good question, bad question. No, question is question. Okay. So I hope you understand that. And we talk about this during the class, a lot of questions and answers. Okay. So our first objective was to show how to account for inventory. So remember inventory, when we talk about inventory, inventory is a part of merchandising company. So we don't see inventory in service companies. For example, you don't see inventory in services industry, for example, uh, in banking who provides financial services in consultancy services, like who provides educational consultancy, right? Uh, business consultancy, uh, or inventory in case of, uh, you know, uh, hair salon, right? Because they provide services of hair cutting and different styling. So their inventory, we don't see inventory over there. So, so merchandisers who, you know, who create stocks of goods or who make the goods like producers, they have inventory. So merchandisers have two accounts that service and titles they don't need. So if you see the income statement of service company and merchandising company, you see a difference. The difference is that the income statement of the service industry, it starts from service revenue minus expenses. You find out net income and now that's it. But if you see the merchandise income statement, of profit and loss statement. You see here, sir, the revenue minus cost of goods sold. And then you find out the gross profit from gross profit, you less all the operating expenses. And then the income tax, you find out net income, right? So the difference is cost of goods sold here. And due to cost of goods sold, cost of goods sold occurred with inventory. So you make the goods, goods are transferred to inventory department or storage department from there you sell when you sell two things happen your inventory decreases your sales rises right and on inventory there are some costs associated to that inventory right there's some storage costs and all those costs so that cost also charged cost of goods sold right so we'll talk about here if you don't understand all this stuff just remember that the inventory is needed for which companies? The merchandising companies, right? Not the service industry or service company. 
Let's move forward. So you see a balance sheet here. You don't see inventory here in service industry, but you see inventory in merchandising company, right? So merchandisers on their income statement, they have cost of goods sold on income statement. They have inventory on balance sheet as well, right? So that is the difference or comparison between service industry and the merchandising industry. Okay, now here we go. How we are going to show the inventory. So you see here, inventory is shown here at cost. So this price is not the sale price. This price is the cost price, right? So we make 100 towels, 100 towels we couldn't sell at this particular time because this is black balance sheet. And balance sheet, what is the balance sheet? It shows you a snapshot or a picture of the total business worth on specific day, right? So on that day, how much products you couldn't sell? That is inventory and inventory reports to, uh, inventory is reported in balance sheet. So how we are going to account for you know, inventory in the income statement? So you see here, let's talk about an illustration here. Assume family dollar stores in corporation has stock of 300 towels that cost three. Family dollar store makes each towel up to two and sell 200 of the towel for five each. Now let's talk about that. It means, sorry, they marks each. So it means the markup is two. So they are selling at five. So they sold 200, right? So it has two entries. So sales is how much? You multiply it with five. We have 300 inventory. So you need to decrease the inventory with cost price. So you need to decrease the inventory 200 by three each, not the sale price because sale price is five. That is the difference between the cost of goods sold and the inventory stuff, okay? Inventory gonna be less always through inventory cost, not the sale price, right? So you see what happened here? When sale occur, it decreases the inventory here. Previously it was 300, now it left 100. So it means there's gonna be an entry which decreases the inventory. And also you see there is a cost of goods sold, which means there need, which is a expense as well. So you see, we need to increase the expense of cost of goods sold, which means the goods that we sold 200, what was the cost on that 200? We also need to decrease, right? So there are gonna be two entry, one related to sales, other related to decrease in inventory, right? We'll talk about that. So let me uh, stop a video and I need to use this pen. I'm not very handy writing like this. So I'm gonna be turning off my video. There we go. Okay, let's move forward. There we go. So the cost of inventory sold shifts from an assets to expense when the seller delivers the goods to buyer, right? So I told you, whenever sale happen, it affect two accounts, sales increase, inventory decrease. So it means the, the sale event, changes the assets on the balance sheet because we are having to deal with inventory. So inventory is a balance sheet item. So the sale event changes the amount of balance sheet and also it changes the amount of expenses on income statement. Here we go. The decrease in inventory is gonna be expensed. And the expense is gonna be on income statement, right? So, sale price versus cost of inventory, I uh, uh, already explained to you guys. So let's talk about here officially. 
So the sale revenue based on sale price of inventory sold. That's it. Cost of goods sold. So pay close attention to the word cost of goods sold, which means it is a cost of goods that are sold. So it means sold amount. Uh, sorry, sold invent. You know, sold quantity multiplied by the cost of those item. So here, cost of goods sold formula is number of units inventory sold multiplied by cost per unit cost of the inventory. So while the inventory based on the costing on the hand simple, the inventory on hand which is not sold multiplied by the cost per unit. So as you see that these costs are same. Only the the difference between inventory and cost of goods sold is that the inventory quantity is that quantity which is not sold. It is reported on balance sheet. So this is the quantity that is the that inventory quantity which is sold, and that should be reported on income statement. All right. So let's move forward. So number of invent uh, number of units of inventory simple determined from accounting records how much inventory we, uh, you know how much inventory we have you just see the accounting record